So we taken the topic about Krishna's past time. So in this particular verse, what is stated, how Srila Prabhupada narrates this in uh, Krishna book. This is from Bhagavatam. In Krishna book, how he is narrating. The vendor who come to sell fruit saw this way, very much captivated by the beauty of the Lord. More than the Lord is coming in his hand with some grain running from there, from inside the house. And when he is doing like that, most of all this grain, because it's a tender hands, you know, and uh, he could not hold it properly, as like all other children, the grains are falling down. By the time he came, the handful of grain become very less, and a few grains only left over. Still the fruit vendor saw the dedication of the Lord, and the way the Lord is coming towards there, he was really got into the trance, that uh, vendor. So, even though few grains are there, she is accepting those grains. And uh, accepting those grains. And with, uh, with uh, what all the fruit she is having, she is uh, trying to put on, on the Krishna's hand, what all possible as a small child who can carry that much uh, fruit she is putting it on the ground. As soon as Krishna accepting that, she found her entire basket of fruits will become jewel and gold. So, here Prabhupada says, you know, the Lord is bestower of all benediction. If someone gives something to the Lord, it is not, he is not the loser. He is the gainer by millions of times. Right? Right now, as I said, you know, few weeks, uh, Janmashmi is going to come. All of you might have contributed a lot of, uh, uh, lot of contribution to the Lord's festival, you want to celebrate. What in return you will get, you just understand. By this, you know, you will get a million easies. Even if you give a little less, you will be getting a million tough times, materially and spiritually, both easies. Shri Prabhupada said, materially and spiritually, you will get benefited. So, with the spiritual things, you should always get in connected very nicely for all the times. See, what you can see here, anyway, the subject matter is about Krishna's past time here. Uh, one place, Krishna is charming all the inhabitants of uh, Rajab Bhumi. On the other hand, he is always facing problem with the demons. The demons coming, totally disturbing the entire community and it was sent by Kamsa. So, uh, you might have seen that the last uh, few weeks, you know, the Ahagasura, uh, Bhutana, Tranavrta, all this explained by devotees, how they came and disturbed the Lord. And uh, if you see in uh, Gopika Ketam, they are also uh, talking about their consolidating. What are the things? Varsha Maruda Vaityudanalat Vrishamayatmajat Vishwadobayat Rishabhadevayam Rakshita Muhu Rakshita Muhu, Lord, please give us your benedictions. So, you saved us from what? Varsha, the rain sent by Indra, Maruta, the windstorm created by Tranavarta, Vaityu Danala, the thunderbolt of Indra, and Vrsha, the bull Aristasura, and Maya Danva, okay, Maya Atmaja, Maya Danva. So, so, you have repeatedly saved us from all kind of danger, the gopi says. So, that one time he is charming all the uh, inhabitants of Gokula, and the other hand, he is getting so much of disturbance. In this way, after facing so many troubles from attack from Jamans, then uh, Nanda Maharaj along with his uh, younger brother, Up Upananda, both of them, they are, Upananda is a very highly educated person and he is the decision maker for all the community and the community there. So, Upananda along with uh, others, they are discussing what to do. The children are getting disturbed each and every time we are getting threat from these demons. What we can do? Can we leave the, from this place? From the father that uh, Upananda is explaining, okay, let us uh, decide. We will go to a yeah, nearby, uh, there is a forest here nearby, Vrindavana forest. We will go there. In Vindavana for our trees, right now with the newly grown plants and herbs suitable for pasturing ground for our cows. And our families and gobies can live there very peacefully. And near Vindavana there is Govardhan Hill. 
there also there is a beautiful hill with a newly grown grass and fodder for the animals so that we will not be having any difficulty to live there we i suggest that we can immediately leave for that place like that uh, upananda is uh, mentioning by hearing is immediately everybody it's like you know uh, i used to just imagine there is a nagging neighbor for us you just imagine one nagging neighbor in the morning till evening you know he will go on oh you parked the car in front of my house why oh, you did this why oh, you did that like that if a nagging neighbor is there what you will feel like ayyo enough for this house i want to go to some other place is it not in the same way this disturbance from the demons sent by kamsa they are feeling so frustrated let us go this way we don't want this place even though it may be our own place we don't need this place you know so so many people might have felt that so in the same thing is happening not now it's from that age also so they are living so immediately on hearing the statement by women and the, all the cowherd men immediately agreed let us immediately go there everyone then loaded their household furniture utensils on the cart and prepared to go to vindavan and the specific thing it's mentioned here the children women and old men in the village arranged a, a proper vehicle and proper seating arrangement so that they don't want to be disturbed at the same time the cowherd man equipped themselves with the bows and arrows they are guarding the uh, that uh, procession along with along with it they are going on the side of it and while they are going on that they doing going through the forest land you know they are having their bugles and uh, conch and other thing they are going on blowing going on blowing is one thing is to not to get disturbed by the animals which are crossing over their path you know they will be going and uh, along with them the themselves of raja the themselves of raja were so beautifully decorated and they looks very beautiful and uh, they are also they got their own vehicle cart they are sitting there what they will normally discuss they will discuss only about krishna they don't know any other thing all the gopis they will be discussing only about krishna's past time they are singing about krishna very joyfully as if you are going for a picnic you know uh, so many carts are going you know and that uh, so many sing songs and other thing and yashoda mai as well as uh, uh, what is her our uh, rohini mother rogni both of them they are in one cart they are keeping krishna and uh, balrama in their lap and uh, they, that is the time these people are with them otherwise all these krishna and balram they will always run around they will not be properly sitting in their mother's lap so that is the time they are telling so much uh, uh, they are conversating with krishna and balram krishna and balram also they are reciprocating to their mother properly so in this way they are enjoying so nicely they are reaching uh, vrindavan after reaching vrindavan they they are making at a half round circle with their vehicle and it's like a gypsies you know today's gypsies how they will go with a the vehicle they will stop it on one place where there is a water tree shadow so that a empty space they will make go make the tent and other thing the same way nanda nanda's community everybody went there to vrindavan as soon as they reached vrindavan and those times you know from vrindavan you can see govardhan govardhan can be seen from vrindavan because not much of a, a building or restriction to see so much thing you know govardhan hill was also very tall that time and uh, krishna and balram after coming out of the cart when they saw that they filled with so much of joy oh what a beautiful place for us to run around we can take our calves and uh, uh, make uh, this thing and here and uh, krishna felt so much of happy and they saw the river yamuna flowing with full of water when the children see the water what they will feel so much uh, thrilled is it not so we the same way uh, our children are the followers of krishna today if they saw the water in our they will be, i saw some of the children you know they will go there they will open the tap that bottom tap they do like this go so they are enjoying the water so ramana river is flowing full not like nowadays it is flowing very nicely with uncontaminated water now the yamuna people are contaminating we should have a lot of concern and uh, all the plastic and other thing they are throwing now there is a thing going on to clean yamuna so uh, krishna and balram when they saw that the way it's going the, the atmosphere of vrindavana how, how many of you i know all of you might be enjoying the uh, atmosphere of vrindavan you know early morning when you go there what will happen cool like that cuckoos uh peacocks 
you know that will go one side silent yamuna is flowing i used to remember the song vrindavan ramya sthana divya chinda mani dama ratina mandira manohara avata kalindi nire rajahams keli kore tahe sobe kanag kamala tara madhya he ma pita ashtadale vistita ashtadale pradana naika तार मध्ये रत्न स्थाने पोषियाचे दुई जाने समसंगे सुंदरी राधिका व्हाट अ ब्युटीफुल नरेशन समसंगे सुंदरी राधिका राईट सो वृंदावन स्थान इट इज ब्युटीफुल फिल्ड विथ जेम्स मेनी ज्वेल प्लेसेस एंड टेंपल्स मेनी रीगल स्पैन्स लाइंग इन द वाटर्स ऑफ यमुना and those waters was splendid golden lotus flowers grows golden lotus flower grows see the image in during those days of krishna how the beautiful uh, things were there even now we are enjoying after all these years 5000 years after we go to vrindavana means we feel so t- totally satisfied so so this is it so when krishna and balram reaching there after reaching there they st- immediately what the children will do to any place they will start playing they don't know any other thing they don't about fa- the food this thing they will not feel hungry children if you leave them 24 hours they will go and play so they play how they play also it is a, elsewhere it is mentioned here you know in the ma- early morning when krishna gets up you know what he will do he will be looking for his uh, that uh, horn bugle you know when immediately after getting up you know he will go without the mother's nal take it go to the front of front yard of the house blow the bugle when he is doing that immediately all other friends you know they know oh krishna wake up already then each and everybody reciprocate it you know i saw it in my apartment in the early morning around 6 o'clock i am new to the apartments you know earlier i was living in a separate houses and uh, now i am you this apartment when i come you know early morning around 7 o'clock they are waiting the children will be waiting especially on holiday like uh, saturday and sunday the time that 7 o'clock they will be maybe from 6 o'clock they will wake and uh, sit in the bed when this mother will open the main gate you know as soon as them <laughs> they will run rush out one will take a cycle one will be a scatter one will take a whistle you know everybody from uh, uh, just one year one and a half year old to 10 year old the children they will make a one rack this thing inside the apartment you you should see in the same way in the evening also when they come back from the school the way they like to play what i'm trying to say the way the children like to play krishna balram as soon as they reached uh, the bindavan immediately they want to play and uh, how they are playing it was given here even shrimad bhavam explained how they are playing kachit vadyano venum shipanita shivetit kavechit kachit padin kankana bi kachit kitmoko govrahi adi chedata pragate yatha see pragate yatha means it is like ordinary human being ordinary human child In the same way krishna and balram sometime <coughs> they would play on their flute vadyate venum and sometimes they would throw ropes and stone devices for getting fruits from the re- trees you know in our childhood also we had seen what you will do whenever there is a tree and a, a tall tree and uh, there is some fruits or uh, this mango like thing you know we will try to throw stones to get it even when we for a, went for a pani hit you know i saw some of our children you know throwing stones on the mango trees <laughs> in, in opposite over this thing so where there is a trick also how to do it you know we will put a long thread in the end of the thread you know they will put on stone they will throw it it will go and hang there then they will pull it like this like that uh, they used to pick the fruits and other thing in the same way krishna and balram they are throwing stones they are throwing this thing and uh, then 
their leg you know always with the what is it angle bells you know jil 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 wherever you go you know it will be like a beautiful beautiful music wherever whenever small children running around the house you know he can especially when they got angle bells very very important for children the angle bell so that is very very uh, what you call it as uh, in our house you know lakshmi karam means that one thing the angle bell for children not not for women alone for uh, small children when they when they run around that you will feel very beautiful uh, uh, this thing and uh, they will play with uh, amalaki fruit amalaki fruit and uh, what the bell fruit you know it will be round even in our childhood we used to take there will be lot of uh, what uh, creepers will be there it will be having a round fruit green color round fruit in our villages and uh, but it will be so bitter it is poisonous also sometimes it's bitter uh, we used to play Uh, cricket and other thing in that you know we'll be having so many balls uh, one ball <laughs> will be broken we'll take one more fruit like that we'll be having so many this thing we used to play in the same way that these all things is a reflection of what they did krishna and balram did we are doing even the children learned is only that uh, perverted reflection of all those it's what happened so and sometimes they used to cover themselves as a with a blanket like you uh, know they will make the sound like a bull and cow they used to go barge into the each other and then and uh, sometime they will uh, uh, roar like a lion and other thing you know like that uh, these uh, children they will do uh, specifically without uh, cost to their family today if you want uh, children to play they will ask for first one kit cricket kit you know one cricket or a badminton means badminton set or a tennis bat anything if you say otherwise even if you indoor games if you say you give me the chess you give me the carrom board like that they will ask for something we will have to spend but during those days nothing for the mother father to spend they will f- find their own way of how to p- different different games they will have to create you know you may be knowing uh, if nothing is there with them not even a stick one fellow will lay down like that one fellow will come and jump above him like that one queue they will people will go and jump above that you know so that type of very simple and wonderful uh, uh place they will make so vrindavan is full of peacock as we said and cuckoos ducks swans cranes and monkeys specifically we will have to indicate about uh, monkeys of vrindavan uh, most of you might have experience about the monkeys of vrindavan Uh, so once i remember maybe 10 15 years back when we went to vrindavan some of our devotees came Uh, in the entrance one old madaji was entering radha govind mandir radha govind you know um, where it was demolished by the mohal emperors um, so the when she was entering we were so many monkeys were sitting there the, this madaji so generous enough she want to go some some because the monkeys normally disturb this madaji was very kind and she want to go and give some uh, fruits to um, banana to the monkey um, that when yeah, when as soon as she went uh, the monkey took the banana from her hand on the other hand she removed her specs and uh, not only removing the specs she climbed up and went and sit in the one pillar and uh, mother ji could not see also without specs she gave them <laughs> this thing reciprocation she got that monkey went uh, like that and stop we are doing like this please 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 you know it never came and after that uh, one boy came uh, sir i will get you like that he sent and uh, he uh, we paid 20 rupees to him he went and uh, some chase or something maybe uh, trained monkeys i don't know so he went and got back this is one and when we came further uh, inside i remember um, uh, maybe our gaurishendra gopinath's father or somebody they were also wearing the specs at that time some somebody then when they came inside uh, one more man he come and took his uh, specs also went up this time that at least that mother ji got the specs back because she donated something is it not and uh, this prabhu uh, this was from the top it <laughs> top dropped it it went to pieces <laughs> and uh, so this so many incidents the monkeys are very dangerous in um, uh, vrindavan and govardhan govardhan monkeys are better because when you give something they will go run away to the forest but uh, vrindavan monkeys they were particularly prabhupada is mentioning in so many places about uh, vrindavan monkeys who will become vrindavan monkeys also he is mentioning uh, and uh, <laughs> the people who are not uh, very much attached to this material thing but still they want to worship the lord and they will become monkeys in vrindavan they will sit there they want to enjoy that's all like that you know eh uh? 
pieces this is what it is so there is a it is a, it is not an experience for you or me it's for the entire world the monkeys you cannot change anything you know in this uh, uh, that is that is what the nature of monkeys and especially vrindavan monkeys they learned in a very very systematic way how to do it they will torture torture even my mother's uh, spect- spectacles were once uh, when very long back 20 years back i took her only one time she lost her specs and come back so like that this will happen so but what you see the positive side of it uh, as in uh, stated in uh, sadgosam yashtaka kujat kokila khamsa sathaka na kirmayura kule nara ratna mola vitapa sri yukta vrinda vane vrindavana was like that vrindavana is a transcendental land where all the beautiful trees full of fruits and flowers which have under their root all valuable jewels full of peacocks vindana forest is always full with cuckoos ducks swans cranes and monkeys so it is indicated here so anyway this is the explanation of vindavana our uh, subject matter is about uh, our uh, vatsasura the demon how he is coming in the form of a calf and uh, how he is disturbing the lord and what is happening once uh, krishna and balram they were playing on the bank of yamuna a demon named vasasura he is slowly entering they are having lot of calves because they are the guardians for calves not for cows their age they will be taking care only the calf so this uh, demon in the form of a calf entering to the inside the herding immediately krishna noticing that and keeping quiet and after when it is going and mingling with everybody the purpose of the demon is is a friend of uh, kamsa want to kill krishna and balram that's all that's why it's entering but krishna notices and is informing balram they go uh, this uh, this has come inside what to do then slowly they are going in the back side of that taking the tail of it they are swilling it all around and throwing it onto a top of the tree by that uh, the force the uh, animal dead and fall down from the tree immediately all the children say wonderful wonderful great great like that uh, children are uh, uh, clapping their hand and uh, from the heavenly planets all the demigods they are showering flowers and uh, they are uh, as usual their drums kettle drums and so many things they are blowing and uh, by that each and every day like this you know some incident happening in a uh, around vindavan and uh, krishna and balram they are frequently going to the forest uh, they make the cows and calves to uh, graze their thing and then the evening they will come back and when they come back you know they will look so tired with uh, so much of dust in their hair and i think prajagopis in uh, this thing how they are explaining whenever this uh, krishna and balram going to forest this uh, gopis feel so much uh, disturbed because what they feel you knows all tender legs of krishna and balram it is like a lotus feet you know it will be there will be freshly grown uh, what uh, what is that uh, grass will be there some grasses will be like a pin it will be when it dries you know it will be look like a pin when you walk on that you know it will prick all your leg so gopis were so much worried about that krishna and balram get injured by that and uh, how they they say no salasiya trija sarayan pasu nalina sundaram natate padam silatanungurai sidati tina kalila tamana gandagachati kalila tamana kalila tamana is mind will be so much disturbed this gopi's mind will be so much disturbed why because ganta kachadi they are ganta they are the dead very dear lovers of uh, gopis krishna and balaram so what is happening the sila sila tran tanungurai angurai means korai we tamilly we used to call it as korai there are uh, uh, grasses are called in so many different names in tamil we used to call arugambul we'll call we call something as a korai pul like that the grasses are around 5 10 varieties are there in that uh, in my childhood that korai is uh, something it will be having a blades like this you know blades like this and you can when you pull it pull it it will come with a small uh, root that root uh, when you open it it will white root we will eat it 
it will be very sweet that korai is this thing we used to eat that tea in our village so arugambal you know whenever there is a ganesha festival going to come you know they all be they will offer the arugambal all that they will offer like that different type of grass is there especially this tanungurai is a thin sharp blade like uh, this thing when it dries you know when you walk on that you will feel like a uh, pricking uh, this thing so this uh, though this gopi is saying dear master dear lover when you leave the cowherd village to head the cows our mind are destroyed with the thought of your feet most beautiful than lotus which will be pricked by the spiked husk of grain and the rough grass of the pins so uh, this gopis were so much disturbed about the uh, way the krishna and balram they will be running around in the forest you know in this way it's going on say the killing of uh, uh, rachasura was uh, taking place after that there is one more Uh, one day K- krishna and balram were uh, sitting in the banks of the river yamuna and their cows and uh, cows and calves were taking water in yamuna after that gopas going they are also drinking water from yamuna and as soon as they finished they found in the bank of the river there is one huge animal look like something like a heron heron is a huge uh, what stork you know heron stork all these uh, uh, flying very high in the sky and they will not fly in the low altitude it will fly even higher than the eagles you know it will be uh, transmigrating from uh, us to australia they will fly you know non stop sometime they it is like a, your uh, uh, aircraft also on the way they will in frankfurt they will uh, stop for uh, uh, refueling but this uh, herons you know they got a capability to fly one shot for 24 hours and uh, 38 hours they will fly so this was the one of the heron uh, they saw and his top is as strong as a thunderbolt the beak you know it will be when you open the beak will be like a thunderbolt with that it is trying to swallow krishna it trying to swallow krishna the, this thing with its beak and what to do and krishna um, balram and all other people uh, nearly fainted by seeing that uh, big animal coming and trying to swallow krishna so uh, nearly krishna is going towards her throat you know and uh, immediately that bird when he is trying to swallow krishna the bird started feeling a burning sensation in the throat burning sensation as if something is burning her so much that is uh, this beast is none other than bakasura bakasura demon bakasura demon try to swallow krishna and uh, there was so much of a burning sensation because the effulgence of the supreme lord is it not even if you want you cannot see him you know that much bright you require a special eyes to see the lord is it not so divine eyes you require to see the lord that was so much bright so the so much bright means it will be having so much heat also wherever it requires it can emit heat wherever it requires it can give chillness that is the uh, capabilities of the effulgence of the supreme lord is it not any it's not common to anything so the beast named bakasura and his was a friend of kamsa appeared on the scene suddenly immediately attacked krishna with his pointed sharp beak and quickly swallowed him up when krishna was thus swallowed all the boys headed by balrama become almost breathless and as if they have died but when bakasura demon was swallowed up krishna felt a burning fiery sensation in the throat this was due to the glowing effulgence of krishna the demon quickly threw krishna up and tried to because he could not hold him she threw him up and tried to uh, beak him up with uh, pinching him with his beak bakasura did not know that although krishna was playing as a part of child of nanda maharaj um, and as a son of, son of um, isoda he is a but he is maintainer of the same he is a father of uh, brahma he is not ordinary person but that the demon doesn't know uh, so uh, immediately what krishna do he is catch hold of the beaks top and bottom beaks like one blade of grass the child can tear the blade of grass you know like that is uh, taking and uh, breaking the beaks into two like that the demon fall down dead when a huge animal fall down dead and krishna coming out after that each and every cowherd boys including balram going and hugging them because so sweet they were nearly fainted by seeing that it's going to swallow but after understanding that krishna killed the demon and coming out they are uh, going and hugging him simultaneously 
the all the demigods from the heaven showering flowers and kettle drums and blow the conches you know so a beautiful a festival uh, okay, uh, like thing it is happening around when he is killing bakasura so vachasura uh, and bakasura both these demons were killed and uh, when they come back home uh, they were narrating this story to the father mother mother uh, uh, nanda maharaj and yashoda mai they are hearing all this what is happened in the forest they all were one time one place father mother were very concerned about oh what is happening each and every time krishna goes some demon coming and disturbing what will happen to my son like that they are telling and they are advising balram balram please don't take krishna to all these places yeah please uh, save him who oh, you are doing like this now Balram says, what I can do? He is not hearing me. I am only following him. He is not ready to follow me. Like that, uh, Balram is answering. Like that, the ch- parents were very much concerned. But at the same time, they feel uh, something is great happening along with uh, this thing. And the gopis also, the, it is not the father mother alone, the entire village. The gopis felt so much concern about uh, Krishna Balram. Whenever they hear the Krishna is victorious, they feel so utmost happy in their mind. Because uh, if uh, what will happen if your neighbor's son win in the running race, we will feel not very happy. My son win in the uh, running race, oh, I, uh, my son got a medal, okay? it will be shown to all the places. But uh, uh, as far as the Krishna is concerned, you know, totally the village loves him. You know, that is the capability stuff. That type of quality we should have. Uh, Prabhu used to tell me, you should be a man to be liked by each and every You know, so practice all those things, we will have to do it. Uh, we should be loved by each and every one. Uh, how it comes, it is the quality of the Lord. Lord is loved by each and everybody because his uh, status of mind, the humbleness, you know, titiksha, tolerance. And so many 26 qualities of Vaishnava, if you follow uh, qualities in a, even a minimal way to our ca- capabilities, you know, we will be liked by each and everybody in this world. So that is very, very important for us. So this way, uh, even father and mother, they were remembering the word of Gargamuni during the birth of Krishna and Balram. Gargamuni predicted this boy will be definitely will be attacked by so many demons and each and every time he will come victorious like that gargamuni was predicting he was there wondering about oh, how how uh, gargamuni was a great uh, scholar gargamuni is a vast astrologer and uh, he is a top man in vedas uh, uh, all the cowherd men including andamara used to talk wonderful activities of lord krishna and balram they were always so much absorbed in their thought they forgot the threefold mysteries of this material existence this is the beauty. When, uh, when Nanda Maharaj and uh, uh, Yasoda Mai, when they are talking about uh, Krishna and Balram, uh, they were uh, uh, really, what is happening? Uh, they forgot their threefold miseries. Okay. Now, Srila Prabhupada, in this particular, uh, this thing, Prabhupada says, this is the effect of Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada says, when he is writing in the Krishna book, this is the effect of Krishna consciousness. What was enjoyed 5000 years by Nanda Maharaj, before, by Nanda Maharaj, can still be enjoyed by Krishna consciousness person simply by talking about the transcendental past time of Krishna and his associates. Just talking about, uh, about his associates and feel about all those things, you will feel happy. You will be thrilled. Okay? So that's what Krishna says. Simply by talking about transcendental past times and uh, you are in Krishna conscious, you will be happy. That's what you try to say. And uh, what we want really? We in, uh, even uh, Raja um, people, they don't need anything other than Varam Deva Moksham Ma Moksham Vadiva Nakanyam Vrneham Varseta Biha Idam Deva Kuburnada Pogopala Balam Sadame Manase Avistam Kimane. So, a hey Krishna, your form as a Balagopala may in the face, it may manifest in my heart. What is the use to me if I have any other bone besides this? In Damodar Shakavik might have uh, sang that particular thing. So, Whenever, as I told, whenever uh, Lord want to leave in the early morning, uh, uh, he will come out of the house, he will blow his bugle, all the friends will gather, they will decorate themselves with so much of peacock, this thing, that thing, um, a garland from the uh, forest, and they will take the red sand, make tilakar, so much appearance with them, on their own, no, no money required, for you have to do all that. Uh, so, they will make themselves uh, this thing and they will run to the forest. 
and when Krishna is running in the front, you know, Krishna is always unique compared to all other boys. He will go, always he will go in the front, run in the front. Balram will follow him. He will run in the front because he will go there, sit there and watch the sceneries. What he, each and every day some specific and different sceneries he will watch and he will enjoy. So, and the, the children will run behind him uh, to find out, I am going to touch Krishna first. I am going to uh, touch Krishna first. Like that, you know, like small children, how they enjoy. The same way they will make a competition. And uh, sometime, you know, the, when the birds are flying on the sky, the shadow will be the, in the uh, uh, earth. Is it not? The boys will follow that uh, same way. They will fly like uh, this thing. The, how the monkeys will jump from one tree to other, they will try to imitate. They will try to imitate peacock. They will try to imitate the cuckoo bird. Like that, they will enjoy. They are very uh, harmless and uh, priceless enjoyment. And uh, utmost enjoyment. They will full heartedly, they will enjoy all those things. So, who can estimate the transcendental fortune of the residents of Vrindavana? Right? And the yogis and others, you know, yogis, they are years together, you know, they are meditating, 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 try to find out where is the Lord. In their own heart, they could not see the Lord. Whereas, these are the cowherd boys, so very fortunate, the lessons of Vrindavana, they are personally seeing the Supreme Personality of God face to face. Who yogis cannot even, after undergoing a severe astrology, although he is sitting within their heart. Uh, Brahma Samhita is uh, confirming that, you know, what, what it says, Vedeshu uh, Durlabham, because it is available in Veda, but you cannot easily get him. You know, it is available in Vedas, how to reach the Lord, but you cannot uh, that easily get him. Vedeshu Advaidam Machudam Manadim Manandarubam, Adhyam Purana Purusham Navayam Chai, Vedeshu Durlabham, Madurlabham, Atma Bhakta, Govindam Madhi Purusham Tamam Banavam. So, the Lord is uh, sitting in our heart, but we cannot understand the Lord is sitting in our heart. You know, even if you read Vedas, you cannot understand the Lord. Right? Only the personal association, whereas the personal association the Gopas are getting very easily. They are going and uh, hugging him, playing with him, uh, running him and uh, they, sometimes they are fighting with him, with the Lord. So much. So how fortunate they are. No? The, I worship going the primal Lord who is inaccessible to Vedas but obtainable by the pure unall unalloyed devotion of the soul. So, Bhavadam if you take it, Maharaj Parikshit is uh, hearing it, uh, Parishat himself is saved by the Supreme Lord. Uh, as when he in the womb of his mother, Uttara, and uh, Aswatthamas, uh, that Brahmastra coming and trying to burn the uh, child, that is the time Krishna going and protecting him. Right? Though Parishat Maharaja, being a Kshatriya, normally they will not get time to hear about the transcendental subject matters. They will be very much, you know, very busy in the, what I can call, political affairs. Mostly, all the Kshatriyas, they will be political uh, mainly. Very few, very few Kshatriyas or rulers, you will get a chance to hear about the transcendental subject matter. Right? So, in one is such a, uh, a gentleman is uh, Maharaja Parikshit. He considers himself to be very fortunate because not only he was hearing Krishna's pastime, but he was doing from doing so from Sukadeva Goswami, who is authority for Srimad Bhagavadam. Okay, so Udayu Goswami's mouth, if uh, we hear Bhagavadam, you just understand how fortunate he should be. So, uh, even though that uh, he being a Kshatriya, uh, Maharaja Parishit, hearing all these things, all these pastimes of the Supreme Lord, he is asking, what happened to Krishna? What happened next? Uh, which uh, demon he killed? Why he killed like this? Why he came like that? He is going on asking, asking, asking. That's why, you know, pastimes of the Lord are very much uh, below us. So, Maharaja Parishit is the one man before within few days going to die but he enjoyed a lot you know about these past times even though before uh, when we, what we if we know uh, we are going to die within another uh, five days what we will do huh? i will go to a big restaurant full uh, finish karke i will visit all the places go by flight whatever money i will try to spend it immediately you know, this what, this belong to her, that belong to him. Okay, we will, all our wealth, you know, we will divide. This what our mind will come. But Parishit Maharaj, 
he enjoyed the past times of the Lord by hearing from Sukadeva Goswami and questioning him. Please tell Sukadeva Goswami what happened to this thing, what happened to the Lord, how it has happened, how it has happened, you know. So all these things frequently, even thousand times, million times if you hear the past times of the Lord, you will uh, always, each and every time you will feel it uh, thrilled. You will feel it thrilled. So you should have that habit of hearing, very, uh, very, very important. Uh, so this is what it is, time is... Uh, going and uh, so whatever we hear about the Lord the words are nectar and his activities are nectar for the souls which are suffering in this material world oh. so the narrations transmitted by the learned sages eradicate one sinful reaction and bestow good fortune upon whoever who hears them that what is stated it is by Gopika Gidam it is these narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled with spiritual power. Certainly those who spread the message of Godhead are most munificent. See this Prabhupada says, those who have spread this message, they will be very great people in this world. That what it says, there are so many great Vaishnavas are here, so many great senior Vaishnavas are here. They are dedicating their entire life spreading the message of the Supreme Lord. We should take the advantage of it. We should be always be with them and uh, whatever the support we can do it to them if you do that your our life will be very very successful with that i want to end before that i want all of us to sing one few lines tavakatamritam tapta jeevanam Tavakatamritam tapta jivanam Kavi biriditam kalma shapakam Kavi biriditam kalma shapakam Shravana Mangalam Srimatatatam Shravana Mangalam Srimatatatam Bhuvi Grinandiye Bhuri Dajana Uvigrinandi ye puri dajana. The nectar of your words and description of your activities are the life and soul of those suffering in this material world. These narrations transmitted by the learned sages eradicate one sinful reaction and bestow good fortune upon whoever who hears them. These narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled with spiritual power. Certainly those who spread this message of Godhead are most munificent. Om Tassat. I will end my this thing here. Being a good narration about the Supreme Lord, I don't think you will be having any doubts. If you want to make any comments or something like that, I am ready to hear. So Janmashmi is going to come now. All of us got an opportunity to serve the Lord. Please understand. It's a very important. Um, whatever the possible way, each and every one of us, none of us should miss the opportunity to serve the Lord. There's opportunity given by the Lord. Now it is us to take it up, each and every service. And whatever the way we can help the festival, in two places it's going to happen, one in Kuchalamba, one in, in our place. In our place it's going to be ICC, we are going to have for two days, 23rd and 24th. So all your friends, relatives, neighbors, you know, you will have to make it as a point. So far whether you did it or not, if you are having any, no, 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 why I will have to go to my neighbor, like that if you feel, you know. 
uh, I told you neighbor nag neighbor don't feel all that because whatever you do as per these particular words you know those who spread that message will be very much they are on the very good books of the Lord so you got an opportunity invite everybody so that we want to see a huge better than before and we are, our new temple are also coming up and we go, will have to do a lot of things for uh, all these things you please invite each and everyone for this festival right and also whatever the possible you go out in and out to uh, bring the Lakshmi's whatever possible way you can do uh, usually a lot of um, the people are doing that you know you out of the box you should think how to make this festival totally success you know the, what is the meaning of total success means a full happiness for a large community a large a community of uh, more than 50,000 1 lakh people coming and uh, everybody is happy taking prasadam everybody is talking about our temple that is a success that is a happiness so I will end my this thing here Jai Shri Ila Prabhupada Ki Nandara Srimad Bhavadam Ki